Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for my dearest Taurians out there. Taurus, this is going to be your 1111 reading. Now before I get started, I'm just going to ask that you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to ring that notification bell uh, to get updates whenever I upload new content because I am uploading quite frequently. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, 1111 or November 11th is one of the most powerful manifestation days of the year. On this day, 1111, the frequency of this master number speeds up the manifestation process because this portal, the universe's channels, are wide open. Number one represents the magician, the major arcana, and the tarot, and also your ability to use your physical and spiritual tools to manifest what it is you want. 1111 quadruples this number, the number one, and allows you to manifest something seemingly from nothing. So it's really important that you don't underestimate your skills, you don't underestimate your magic, you don't underestimate your power, especially on this day. Um, also, angels use the number 1111 or this number sequence to activate light codes for your soul's development. So when you see this number, um, you know, and oftentimes we see it frequently and sometimes more frequently than not, um, it is, you know, it's your angels and it's your guides saying, Hey, believe in yourself, believe in your magic. You were, you were meant to create a beautiful life, love, and happiness here on this earth. Um, it's also really important that, um, that you pay attention to what you are thinking because what you think is what you create. So it's really important to pay attention to your motives, um, as to what it is you want to create. Why do you want this? Okay. Um, 1111 is not only good for manifesting your heart's desires, but it also rules the twin flame journey. And 11 um, represents the binary or the dual nature that we see in the universe, light and dark, masculine and feminine, your soul and your twin soul, which is mirroring yours. Um, and so it's, an, it's a powerful day, November 11th, to manifest um, this connection into your life. Okay, so it's a very powerful day, Taurus. Um, before I get started, I'm just going to um, remind you if you want to get a hold of the decks that I'm using or you want a private reading, all that information is in the description box down below. All right, so Taurus, let's go ahead and see what my Taurians need to hear for this 1111 portal day. Messages for my Taurians, please. Message for Taurus. You guys get the Page of Cups in reverse. You get the King of Cups in reverse. The King of Wands in reverse. The Nine of Cups. And you get the Six of Wands. Okay, so regardless of anything that you're going through right now, Taurus, victory is yours. Success is yours. The Six of Wands, I'm also seeing for those of you on a soulmate or twin flame journey, look at that. Two people mirroring each other. I do see that there is union or connection in your future. Your overall energy is the Four of Swords. Taurus, you guys are healing from something. Um, for many of you guys, you may have been in a relationship or in a situation um, that was really painful. Some of you could have been dealing with somebody who was very controlling or narcissistic. Um, and I feel like you guys are cutting or have cut the cords with this person. You're healing from that past. It doesn't have to be necessarily a romantic relationship, although for some of you it might be an ex or you know a partner. But for others of you, it could be a parental figure. Um, it could be male or female. Um, or it could be a situation or a way of treating yourself or talking to yourself. Um, you know, like saying, you know, I'm not good enough, or you always mess this up, or you're, you can't manifest what you want. Those days are over. It looks like you are healing this. Now, you guys are coming out as the Page of Cups. Now, the Page of Cups is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and there's a lot of water here in this reading. So some of you guys may be connected to a water sign um, or a fire sign, but I also have air. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, 
um, and then also Leo, Aries, Sag. The Page of Cups in reverse is telling me that Taurus, there's something here. Um, it could be that you started, you know, like a love relationship. It may be with a water sign um, and you're not getting the communication that you want. Okay. There may be, um, and again, this King of Swords energy could be that there is no communication. Look at that. Ten of Swords, more healing. Many of you guys are healing from past wounds. Um, many of you guys, and I see the Page of Swords under there, which can be my social media card as well, um, where you guys may be, you may be connecting with somebody, but n it's like not enough. Um, and it's maybe been doing your head in or making you feel less than. Um, because the Page of Cups is telling me that somebody kind of stopped early. Um, or there was a situation that, that was very near and dear to your heart that you started to see progress in. But then something something went awry. Communication went, went down. you know, Or there was you know radio silence or something like that. Um, and it has you feeling a little bit insecure or a little bit sad. Um, it may be that you are owed even an apology. There may be an apology card coming into you or maybe you know you can flip the characters in the story maybe you owe somebody an apology what's blocking you is the king of cups the king of cups is holding these two cups here and i really do feel like you thought this person or you think this person is your soulmate or is your person you know so like this is your man or this is your woman but there's some sort of emotional instability the king of cups is a creator is a poet is a musician is a visionary and for some reason something here is has stopped i feel like taurus this person may not be letting you in for some reason Okay, or it could be you that something happened, some sort of communication, or you read something, or you saw something, or you guys had an argument that um, that for some reason, like maybe it was you that really pulled back, okay, and set up some walls, um, you know, put up the you know put up the barricades because you were starting to feel like you had caught some very serious feelings with this person, um, and because you and because I I do feel like you're seeing them as your two of cups, as your soulmate, even your twin for many of you with the six of wands. Okay, now what you need to know is the King of Wands in reverse. So the King of Wands in reverse does get a bad rap. It's a fire energy. Um, and he can be one of the player cards, you know, somebody who maybe talks a good game but doesn't really show up. Somebody who's very sexual, very passionate, very attractive. Um, but I do feel like, um, you know, I do feel like this could also be part of your energy that you need to heal this situation so that you can get your mojo back. Okay. And I'm not that even calling you a player, or even if this is the other person, something has sort of has, something has come to a full stop and it may not even be something that happened between you guys. Um, it could be that, um, something, something outside, you know, like a job or a health scare or something having to do with family. Okay. And I do feel like you're, you, you guys, you may be you may not be in communication here or you might have both been mirroring each other and pulled back at this time what you need to do nine of cups in reverse the nine of cups in reverse is telling me that there was there was something here that was too excessive maybe this relationship you know um, took off really quickly um, maybe um, maybe again one or both of you realize this wasn't actually um, that you're not getting what you want out of the situation. So the nine of cups in reverse, what you need to do is really sort of pull back into the, find your center, find your balance at this time. Um, it takes us back to the eight of cups. Someone here is walking away. It may be that you need to detach here. Okay. This four of swords energy, you may need to pull back, detach for this, for this time being. This is, you know, Aries had this sort of energy as well in their reading. Um, but it does look like this is what's going to bring you victory. Sometimes we hyper focus or we send our energy to one person or one situation and it creates an imbalance in our lives, Taurus. And I'm getting here the need for you to kind of step back to, to walk away. Now, for some of you, the nine of cups in reverse, taking us back to this eight of cups is saying there's some sort of journey, some sort of travel, okay, that maybe you guys need to meet each other halfway or you or your person need to actually physically move or travel to be together or that you need to make some sort of movement so you're not in complete stagnation because I feel like that might be, that might be what's doing your head in here, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify these energies for my dearest Taurians out there. More information, please, on the Page of Cups in reverse. More information, please, on my Page of Cups in reverse for Taurus. All right, we get the Ten of Wands. Yeah. 
something something has just become burdensome something has become too much it could be you it could be your relationship or your connection with this person or this situation you find yourself in um and it, and maybe it's like that's why there's been this pullback or this full stop four of swords somebody needs to heal and i feel like this is you taurus you do need to pull back you may have you know you may have said yes to too many people you might have a lot of options um, or you might have been very focused on your wish fulfillment, but you're realizing that maybe that the timing is off, okay? Or there's some sort of a, there's some sort of emotional instability that's being created here, something that needs to be healed. It could be there's a condition or a situation or a relationship from your past that needs to be healed before you can move forward, um, before you can sort of get your mojo back here. All right, we get two cards popping out here. We get the judgment card. Okay, so using your best judgment right now, Taurus, is going to be the best. Um, I do feel like if you're dealing with a water sign, um, that they, if they have pulled back or you feel like they've pulled back, it's so that they can get clarity. But by the time we have this next full moon in Gemini, Taurus, I feel like you will be getting some sort of communication. Um, that means this, this situation will either be ascending or you'll be making sort of a final judgment on what to do here. Okay. So let's go ahead and see the King of Wands, what my Taurians need to know. Okay, we get the Prince of Pentacles. Okay, this is a very slow moving energy. Um, and we get the Temperance card. I did already see the Temperance card in my mind's eye here, Taurus. The need to find the middle ground. For some of you, there either this situation or the passion in this situation. And again, it's not going to be romantic for all of you. But some of you guys are really experiencing this like shaky ground um, and you may even go be going into sort of worst case scenario thinking because it's taking a lot longer than you thought or because somebody here has pulled back or you're not getting the communication or the action that you want. And, you know, Spirit is saying there's a lot of healing happening here, you guys, lots of healing that needs to take place. Temperance is a reminder that your angels are guiding you and surrounding you, but it's also a card of patience and divine timing is at work here. So while you guys are sort of waiting, and again, if you have Aries in your chart, please check out that reading because the, the cards were different, but the message was very sort of similar that while you guys are waiting, it's important that you achieve inner balance, that you focus on your health, spiritual, emotional, and physical. The Page of Pentacles tells me that some of you guys, this has been affecting even your physical health. Okay, and your vitality because the King of Wands in reverse is, um, you know, is somebody who is very passionate, is very, is a traveler, is a diplomat, um, is is very physically fit, okay, or you know, very confident. And right now, that's lacking. And so it's like it's like taking the small steps and steady, consistent steps is what's going to bring you success. And then also not trying not to overthink what's going on here and really going within. We're supported by this energy of Scorpio right now to put the focus just back on you here, okay? So what you need to do, Nine of Cups, we get the Queen of Pentacles. This is my maternal energy. Really nurture yourself. Um, it may be really hard for you to walk away, Taurus. I feel like you might be clinging on to a situation that isn't that healthy for you at the moment. And um, it's really important that you nurture yourself at this time because you I feel like intuitively you know what you need to do. And it may even just be for a short period of time. It may not be for a long time, but that you need to shift the focus back inwards, okay? Um, Queen of Pentacles is that earth energy. And we get the Seven of Wands. Yeah, because... <laughs> The Seven of Wands is, this, is Aries Leo Sag energy. This is somebody who's being very defensive. It could be you or it could be your person, um, but there is sort of a need to sort of guard your heart at this time and maybe taking a time out, walking away, doing some healing is exactly what you need. But in doing this, Taurus, you're getting the Six of Wands. And for me, those of you, this is soulmate or twin flame. Again, we've got these We've got these two souls that are mirroring each other with the tri triangle in the middle. There's definitely ascension. There's movement forward. I see that also in the judgment card. Okay, but it's after a period of stagnation or of pulling back. All right, eight of pentacles in reverse. All right. So yeah, this is something you've invested a considerable amount of time in. 
The Eight of Pentacles in reverse is the need to do things a little bit differently. Okay, for some of you guys, this might be a work situation as well, um, that you've experienced some delays and some frustrations here. But I do feel like there is a commitment coming in. There's a solid offer coming into you. Some of you guys, this person is going to be proposing. For others of you, it's moving in together. For others of you, it's going to be monogamous and stay together. Seven of Pentacles. But there are delays and there are frustrations here. And that's bringing about sadness. And look at that. We get double confirmation of the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So some of you guys, you're going through this separation, something that you really wanted, that you were very focused on. It's not really working out the way you wanted or these delays and frustrations that you're experiencing are really making you sort of question everything. But it's like healing the situation, detaching, going within Taurus. This is what's going to bring you victory. This is what's going to bring... It's going to bring you in this a solid offer, a romantic offer, an offer of commitment. It's kind of like doing the opposite of what you normally do. And it might feel like, oh my gosh, I've got to do this reverse psychology in this situation. I've got to do what I don't want to do. But in, in switching it up, Taurus, taking your energy, I feel like taking your energy off of this person or this particular situation is actually what draws them back to you or draws something even better towards you. Somebody here is being defensive and closed off. It could be you or it could be your person. Advice for my Taurus distractions. Control your thoughts and actions to help you stay focused. Yep, again, that was very similar to the message for Aries. Right now, it's important that you do something else, that you take your focus off of this situation or off of this person. Some of you guys working with law of attraction, whether it's love or abundance, um, you know, or your spiritual journey, look at this. It's like spending time with friends. It's focusing on you, kind of distracting yourself from the situation, turning away from it, pulling your energy back here, okay, is exactly what needs to happen. All right, so energy supporting you, the Miriam. Again, I get twins. For many of you guys, my, my Taurians, you guys are on a twin flame journey. We get double confirmation. Look at this. We see these twins coming out twice. Choose to forgive in order to heal. For some of you guys, you've had an argument or a disagreement or a breakup. Okay, and this is the healing that needs to take place. See the light and all. Remember that love has no boundaries. Wow. Love has no boundaries. Some of you guys, you need to forgive your person, okay? Or maybe they need to forgive you. It may be time for an apology, but I feel like it's not yet, okay? And you get Lady Nada, heart awakening. Taurus, this is some really deep heart chakra healing. Awaken to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance. This person or this situation, I feel like wants to give to you what you give to it or this person and it's happening but there is some sort of healing or forgiveness that needs to take place somebody's closed off to it right now whether it's you or them really focus on that heart chakra right now Taurus that's going to be that's going to be really pivotal for you I do feel like you have an offer of commitment and love even marriage coming towards you but it's going to be after this period of healing and maybe of not having much communication trying not to overthink this situation. Yeah, you're experiencing delays and frustrations. I feel like, you know, I'm, I just keep being drawn back to this clock, divine timing here, okay? And then we get the star mother loved. Oh, you guys, Taurus, you guys are loved. You guys are supported. The universal mother loves and supports me totally. And we see the mother coming out here with the queen of pentacles energy as well. Mother yourself at this time. Mother and nurture your relationship. And, and that's being patient as well with your person. Um, if you feel like this is something that, um, you know, that you can and you want to repair. Because I do feel like for many of you, this person will be coming back to you. But you are just experiencing these delays and frustrations. So healing can take place to get some perspective. For many of you guys, this is your twin flame. Okay, that's coming out twice here. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You do deserve love, Taurus. You deserve joy. 
you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourselves in. So many of you guys are definitely like feeling anxiety over this connection. Many of you guys are feeling, um, you know, like you can't manifest, um, but you are healing and you certainly can. There is something coming towards you. Okay, after after a little bit of a waiting period, after some delays and after some frustrations. But you also need to align your energy, Taurus, and understand that you deserve love and to really raise your frequency in the meantime, no matter how difficult that might be, whether that's finding a hobby, whether that's meditating, whether it's spending time with friends and family. For some of you guys, spending time or communicating with your mother, okay, is gonna be really important or a maternal figure. Um, because I, I can see your circumstances are frustrating, you're sad, you're feeling helpless, you're feeling hurt, um, you're feeling disappointed, okay? But you can allow joy and you will allow joy into your life. There is someone or something coming for you to offer a commitment, to bring you a feeling of success, okay? And, you know, marriage and marriage in many different senses, whether it's actual proposal um, or if it's just the marrying of two souls coming together here in the 3D. All right, Taurus, I hope you found some guidance and you received the messages you were meant to hear in this reading. I love you guys. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a beautiful day. Take care.